Hello everyone, my name is Sung Hyop Kim, Professor Emeritus of Radiology and Urology at Seoul National University Hospital. I am the past president of the ASAR. This one point lesson is to emphasize why Doppler angle and sample volume is important in Doppler ultrasound to make a diagnosis of Nutcracker syndrome. Nutcracker syndrome is caused by compression of the left renal vein between the aorta and superior mesenteric artery, resulting in left renal vein hypertension that causes intermittent gross hematuria. Sometimes this syndrome may cause microscopic hematuria or proteinuria instead of gross hematuria. The best way to evaluate the severity of the compression of the left renal vein at the aorta mesenteric portion is to measure the flow velocity using Doppler ultrasound. Normally, the peak flow velocity in this aorta mesenteric area is about 40 or 50 cm per second, but if it is higher than 80 or 90 cm per second, we may suggest Nutcracker syndrome. There are two technical points we need to keep in mind in this Doppler ultrasound. With the usual neutral position of the transducer, we do not have problems in getting clear Doppler spectra from this hyla portion of the left renal vein because Doppler angle is within the optimal range. But it is almost impossible to get clear Doppler spectra from this aortomesentric portion because the Doppler angle is around 90 degrees. The way to solve the Doppler angle problem is to turn the transducer counterclockwise so that this aortometric portion is located on the left side of the image screen. But still, it is difficult to get clear spectra because the left renal vein between the pulsating aorta and the superior mesenteric artery is moving in and outside of the sample volume. If we make the sample volume bigger, now we can get clear spectra because left renal vein between pulsating arteries stays within the wide sample volume. Please remember that Doppler angle and the sample volume is important to get clear Doppler spectra from the aortometric portion of the left renal vein when you are doing Doppler ultrasound for Nutcracker syndrome. 